Chantel, tell me, uh, with all this success with the Jamaican track and field athletes, how does this happen? I mean, it, it's just so much success. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, it's Jamaica to the world. If you don't know, you don't know. <laughs> but it's definitely, it's, it's the, the drive that we have. We as Jamaicans can overcome any obstacle. You put a hurdle in front of us, we jump over it. We have a pothole in front of us, we fill it up with some rocks and we drive past it. We kind of have that, that stamina of, like, there's no stopping us. We look at Batawa, which is, we're a little island, but we do big things. So that's what makes me most proud. And we have great athletes like our women. You have Frazier and Campbell. Frazier did our thing recently. You have, of course, um, you have Bolt. You have Johan is, you know, did very well, very, very well recently. Mm -hmm. But there's a good rivalry, though, with the, with the states, though. I mean. It's a good rivalry. I think it's but, a really good rivalry. Uh, everything's yeah. good with some competition, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all need some competition. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Jamaica to the world. We yeah. Take it. Something in the water down. Something in the water, or the, the something sugar in the, cane, yeah, it's yeah. all of that. In something the ackee and saltfish, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's a secret, it's a yeah. secret, can't tell nobody uh -huh. about it. <laughs> but no, it really comes down to the drive. Mm -hmm. And I, I kind of believe without, without drive, there's no happiness, there's mm -hmm. no success. You have to have a drive. You have to want it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just, because it's, if it's effortless, you can tell. And one thing about our athletes, our artists, our entertainers, our... Our, even our, our political leaders, we, mm -hmm. you have to have that passion mm -hmm. for, our, for yourself and for the people and that excitement. You have to live out that excitement of, of going all the way, mm -hmm. reaching the goal, reaching the crown. <laughs> and talking about some of your artists, you've had some great artists in Jamaica. Yes. Of course, Bob Marley is one of the most, he Big is up. the most famous Big of up all. Mr. Marley, of but uh, and then, you know, you've got some other great artists in Jamaica, yes, and, and you've worked with uh, a couple yourself. I, I know you were in Shaggy's uh, Shaggy, video. Shaggy, yes, yes. Uh, that Shaggy, was a great Mr. video, Boom too. Boss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, that was a crazy thing, you know, because when I was younger, it was me in my living room. I'm around with my cousins, Mr. Boombastic, mm -hmm. like, like who'd have thought? Uh -huh. I'd be talking about sugar cane. Uh -huh. But that was a great experience, and it was shot in the beautiful parish of Portland, big up mm -hmm. Portland. Yeah. But that was a, a great video. I yeah. got to ride the horse, uh, went through went through Portland on a bike, had the coconuts. Yeah, that was good. Mm -hmm. We have great artists, and me with, with music though, I'm more of an old an old yeah. old school heart. I love okay. Barris. Barris Hammond is like awesome. Barris, yes. You know what? I'm gonna tell you this. Mm -hmm. My ultimate dream is to have Barris singing at my wedding. Yeah. Barris, if you hear me, I need you to sing at my wedding. Sing sweetness at my wedding. That's awesome. No, I love yeah. Barris. Then we've, you've got dance hall. I mean, that's like great. dance hall. You know, movie. yeah, and that's like Beanie Man. Beanie Man, you have yeah, yeah. yeah, and I love the female uh, Shireen Anderson. She's oh, awesome. Yes, yes. Awesome young lady. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, this is your girl, Shireen Anderson, the princess of dance hall, so straight out of Kingston, Jamaica. And you're watching Metro Scene. Keep it locked. I ask for the niceness, man. When you throw away money on wasted electricity, you're throwing away everything you could have bought with it. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. All this talk about Jamaica and all the success, let's talk a little bit more about you and your success gotcha. in the Miss Jamaica pageant. Yeah. What was the characteristic that kind of put you over the top? What well, put me over the top? To be quite honest, I think people, people were relating to me. Mm -hmm. I, I was just enjoying myself. I was uh -huh. living in the moment, literally living in the moment because it was happening so fast. I remember a uh, thing backstage, actually, I was actually the last person to get makeup, the last person to get curls. I wasn't even, my hair was half curled. I had one earring in and they pushed me out and I was just like, okay, I'm on, <laughs> I'm, on I'm out here. <laughs> But I think people were seeing that. I was just so happy. And I remember seeing my family, my friends, and I remember, okay, yes, this is, mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be up there. It just felt very natural. And I think people were able to relate to that. 
and I, I felt it in the crowd. Like when I grabbed the mic and I said, good evening, Jamaica. I, I was just so excited. I think people were like, okay, yeah, we're at a show. So I feel like I had to like, woke up everybody. You know, they yeah. realized you were the one at yes. that point. Huh? Well, I, I hope so, yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I was, just, I was just living in the moment. Mm -hmm. I was just full of smiles. I, somebody told me, so it was a duppy in the ear telling you a joke? I said, what do you mean? They say, my girl, you're on stage the whole time laughing. I said, because I was so excited. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was happy. Mm -hmm. you, only, you only live once. And moments like that, you have got to cherish it. You have got to just live in the moment. Take some time and just smell the flowers. Even mm -hmm. if you're on stage, just, oh, wow, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yes. God yeah. is good. Yes, I love this. Yeah, because yeah. only one person gets to feel that moment. Now, there were so many others who competed. They did not win. What do you say to those young ladies? What do I say to them? You know what I would say? If this is something you want, go for it. Because I entered a pageant before and I was a runner up. And I said, you know what? Thank you for this experience. I went and I, I, I actually became Miss Tourism Queen, Miss Tourism Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And that um, helped, helped me with realize exactly what I mm -hmm. want to do. It's all about determination. Mm -hmm. So I would tell them that if this is not this is not the last of it. If you really want it, go after it, because people will recognize that, and people will respect that. They don't have a choice but to respect it if you put yourself out there. So, you know, go for it. And now that you're there, there are a lot of responsibilities of being Miss Jamaica, and uh, talk about some of those things that uh, are, are gonna be important now for you. Uh, first of all, role model, huh? Well, well definitely, um, having the crown is, is an honor, it's a privilege, mm -hmm. but, with the crown, it does come responsibilities. You have, you have to live up to it. It's a, it's a prestigious pageant, and you have, you're a role model to young girls, to, to even young, young boys. Um, mm -hmm. you know, it shows him what kind of woman he might want, mm -hmm. how to treat a woman, mm -hmm. um, and he treats her as a queen. I always mm -hmm. tell, I tell girls all the time, you know, it's how you treat yourself that people mm -hmm. will treat you. If you want a man to treat you as a queen, you, you act as a queen, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you, you're probably, um, there's some things that you're doing in Jamaica um, as a result of being Miss Jamaica too, right? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm actually teamed up with um, an AIDS mm -hmm. uh, thing, Jamaica AIDS Support, and it's a very, um, it's, a, it's a, a charity actually in focus with people with AIDS, living with AIDS, bringing awareness to it, and letting them know that it, it is a disease, yes, but it's, it's ways to live, it's not a, it's not a death sentence. And I, with me, I'm just voicing that. And I've also recently um, the health ambassador of GNC Jamaica. So I'm very excited with that because I'm, I also won Best Body, not to you know, boost myself wow. up, but I won Best Body. Mm -hmm. So I'm a very holistic person too. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm very excited to take on that title because I feel I can lend a voice out and help people with that. And I would like mm -hmm. to do fitness videos, things of that nature, yeah. But I'm, I'm very excited with that. And I also have a charity, a back to school drive, working with a Jamaica Aid support and we will be you know getting donations with my foundation Sunshine Sunshine's Youth and we'll be getting donations in and we're going to distribute books, pencils, equipment to our children and it's very it's very exciting. These are things that are very true to my heart and having the, the platform and the pedestal to do so is is a blessing. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. All right. Well we're gonna take a break, but when we come back we're gonna talk about some of the things that you think are, are really special to you in Jamaica. And also, uh, we're gonna get you to say some words of wisdom because I know you have a lot of people that you looked up to yes, growing definitely. up. And we're gonna talk about that. Definitely. All right, yes. so we're gonna take a break and we'll be right back with more from Chantel Zaki, Miss Universe Jamaica.